I'm currently watching MSNBC News. A major earthquake has hit many states on the East Coast. Washington, D.C., New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Michigan, Georgia, Illinois. I live here in Wisconsin. I didn't feel nothing. Nothing felt around here, at least not by me. I'm switching to another channel also covering this earthquake. Fox 6 News. Fox News channel. Washington, D.C. felt the earthquake. I'm turning to CNN now. Also covering the earthquake. I'm trying to weather channel also covering this. What was? Today is Tuesday, August 23rd, 2011. Earthquake has hurt has hit the East Coast area. All those states right there. I live here in Wisconsin. I we haven't felt anything. At least I haven't. Big earthquake. Hope nobody injured or not so much damage anywhere. Hope everybody was okay. Looks like it hit around Washington D.C. and Virginia somewhere, and many states nearby also felt it. Washington D.C. I, I believe. You make an excellent point, and we can't say that enough. This may present New York City. a transportation issue uh, as the day moves on. We're seeing a little bit of traffic, and that just may be from the flow of the day. But the Port Authority, we spoke with them earlier. They're checking bridges and tunnels and, and etc. to make sure that there's been no damage. Just turning up the sound. The, the, the point is, that this was an earthquake that has the potential energy to have caused a lot of problems. And we're, we seem to be very fortunate so far that we've heard about one broken water. Turning up some more. But that in the, near the Pentagon or in the Pentagon. But that seems to be it. But you can't be too careful with something like the Hall and If you're tunnel, listening to this on your computer, probably turn up the sound so you can hear this better. Time. And if there's any kind of leak, you have to repair it right away. There is no indication that anything like that has happened. But that's why transportation is slowing down. You, you, as you also mentioned, Amtrak 
traffic trains. You have to look at the tracks. Uh, air, air, airports, you have to look at the tracks. Here's New York runway. City right there. You have to there. make sure that all of the towers are functioning Washington, D.C. And there is that problem that you alluded there to before, again. which is now, nowadays, everybody feels something like that. Turn to Fox News Channel now. Get you the information as we know it. We are also being told that two nuclear reactors close to the epicenter of the quake in Virginia have been taken offline, but that there have been no reports of damage to those nuclear reactors. 5.9 magnitude quake typically includes property damage, uh, in particular to older buildings that have not been shorn up for such an event. I want to get to Trace Gallagher, who's got new information for us now. Trace. The USGS now has just downgraded this again, Megan, back to 5.8 magnitude, and they're now saying the depth has changed again. First it was about three and a half miles, then they upgraded it about uh, less than a mile. Now they're saying, no, it was about three and a half miles deep, and it was a 5.8 magnitude. That's the I'm very latest we just got from the USGS. Uh, so glad we can finally get on the air. It's taken some time. Uh, we are on the corner of 14th and New York. We did travel about a block or so to get a better signal so we can at least bring you some pictures and talk to Inez Clavier, oh. who uh, has worked in the area for 20 years or so. Yeah. Tell me what you well, what you felt. Let's Canada start at the very beginning. No. Two o'clock or so? Yes. Yeah, hey. hey. Sorry, one's butt is in the way. All right, we lost that uh, that interview and those pictures there, but I want to update you. We've, we've been talking uh, quite a bit about they these nuclear it, yeah. reactors. We told you that uh, they were taken uh, offline. Two of the reactors were taken offline, just as a precaution, no Turn damage. We are getting Certainly, he's not the only one that felt it in Atlanta. Radio this stations is weather channel. have been getting lots of reports from folks that have been feeling it. We've been getting a lot of Facebook and Twitter reports from you. The other big story, though, of course, today is Hurricane Irene. And Irene, of course, has eyes set here on the yeah, Bahamas. Earthquake and ultimately hurricane new the weather US, news happening yeah, today. Yeah, no, this is going to be pretty bad, most likely, for the Bahamas. And it could be very bad for a lot of the East Coast as well. Could be the worst storm that we've seen in the Northeast in a long, long time. So here's the latest on I the I hope storm. everybody braces themselves for the storm here. Wind. It does appear to be intensifying right now. Uh, moving All west along the there you see that the core of the storm stayed to the down the Hispaniola. southern area by Florida and just to the south North Carolina, North South Carolina, Georgia. There's an eye wall Be careful. There. You see the eye right there. It's a I'm wider, coming back to CNN now. now Maybe Fox News. As you were speaking, Trace, this literally just crossed into our uh, into my email, which is that the New York City subway service is unaffected for the MTA as of now. Uh, that it, it has not been affected. So that is good news for folks who are trying to get around New York City uh, by Hello, subway big here in Apple. New York City. I do want to report this. This is a major piece of this story. A communication service is extremely spotty and has uh, proven to be really problematic right now. Verizon, uh, Wireless, and AT and T say that their networks are congested. As the quake sent people scrambling for their phones, uh, that there's just the, the Verizon wireless. Turning to is, uh, MSNBC now. No, no day. And get an early afternoon off, I think, as well. Cameron. Right. Okay. Thank you very much, Ron. Let me go to Pete Williams. I understand you've got an update, uh, Pete, especially on a, a university not so from the epicenter in Virginia. Here once again. Well, it's about right. earthquake the, the that hit according to the US Geological on the Survey East Coast. The town of Mineral, Virginia, which okay. is not far away Bring from back. Charlottesville, Virginia, which is where the University of Virginia is located. It's the, the main state school Washington, in Virginia. And New the York, there, just got off the North phone, Carolina, they, they were, the, uh, Ohio, was Michigan, Georgia, there, but, uh, Illinois, lasted for about not listed as Canada, Massachusetts, buildings, Indiana. And now the main priority, Tamron, is inspecting the university's vintage buildings that were actually designed by Thomas Jefferson. The I'm signing off now, of but I hope there, everyone is doing okay. The They're looking at all of those. There are uh, several what they call serpentine walls that date if from anybody Jefferson's knows days. Where these this are, place uh, is, please tell me. That, uh, that are sort of S-curved, and, and those are getting a lot of priority, uh, in addition to the rotunda and some of the, the main uh, buildings on campus there are being inspected, but the university officials